I'm Stacy, and today I'm going to be talking about basketball, a little history about it, and some reasons why it's really important to me. So let's start off with the history. So today, um, like I said before, we're talking about basketball. So it started um, maybe in the mid-1900s by James, Na James Naismith, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he um, invented the game and it was very poor, like it wasn't an official sport, it was just kind of something fun him and his friends wanted to do. So pretty much what it started off was like a soccer ball type. The ball was like a soccer ball. So if you can imagine like a little like leather thing and you just throw it into a basket or um, just like a little basket you put your apples in or a basket that you would just keep or even a cardboard box people would play with. So it wouldn't exactly fall down the basket or the cardboard box because you know the game was just for fun and to see if you could just get the ball in the basket. And so soon the game became legit. Like. Um, they all wanted to make it a real game, and that was really good because I think everybody loved the game, so why not make it? So um, all these steps lead up to the actual basketball game we know today. So pretty much we invent, made the basketball shoes, obviously, so some athletic shoes, maybe like high top, you can just run around with and be comfortable with. And um, also, we the, we improved the ball. We kicked it up a notch. We made it a lot. We made leather. And we made it bounceable. We made it all these good qualities to make it an actual basketball. So then, um, then we needed, of course, something to put the ball in to shoot. And so, so we wanted something that would where the ball would just come down immediately. And so we made, um, so they made um, like a circular rim and then attached onto it where is a net. So when you throw the ball into the rim, it falls down the net. So at, so like the basketball we see today, if you see someone shoot, it will just come straight down unless it gets stuck at the edge of the rim, which rarely happens. Um, so another thing was we needed some rules or else basketball people could just easily slap you and then they take the ball and shoot it, you know. And we needed some rules. So we made a rule and it, and um, the rule was you can't hold the ball and walk at the same time. So say I'm holding this ball, I can't just like walk like this. I just have to, I have to um, dribble the ball because, you know, why did we make it bouncy if we can't dribble it? So. That's something we did, and you know, there's some cool moves. We, if you're a good ball handler, you can go between your legs, behind your back. And you know, these qualities will make um, usually a point guard, which is one of the positions in basketball, is the person who brings the ball up to like make a play or shoot or something. And this person has to be a good ball handler, and they're usually the ones who made a success from the bouncy stuff. So then next what we have is, um, in basketball, you can't just, you can't, um, like, hit someone because, you know, that would be a foul. So, say someone was going up to shoot at a layup, they would go like this and someone slapped my hand. That would be another quality of, that would be a foul and the person would get the ball again. On, because you're kind of cheating and you're kind of hurting the person. And that could cause some serious injury. And, um, also in basketball, um, Another thing is if you're a professional basketball player, if you've seen LeBron James or Steph Curry, you can dunk the ball too, so that's something else people invented. Um, also, if you're going, if you have the ball and it's just you in the basket and you're running towards the hoop, you can't foul someone from behind or else that's a clear path foul, which means that you get, the, you get two free throws in the ball again. So, um, just two free throws and then you get the ball again, so you have an opportunity to score a lot of points. Um, I, basketball, it's really, really um, important, and a lot of people play it, and I think that's a good quality to do. Even just if you don't, even if you don't play basketball, so usually people have basketball hoops outside their door. They just outside their on their garage or whatever by their garage, and um, usually you can just have like a family out and you just play, you know. So then another thing is when you play basketball, there are some more rules like. You, if you get really, um, if you're, you can have the ball, and there's a possible way that you can foul someone while you have the ball. So, um, if you're going for like a layup again, which is just um, 
when you dribble the ball into your net on the you hit the backboard, which which um the rim and net is attached to. Um, if you're going for a layup and and um you run the person over who's guarding you, you get a, you get um you get a foul and it's a personal foul. So the referee would call this. So now let's talk about referees. So you know everyone has to know what they're doing so they know what like what's going on in the game. So you the um, referees usually do like a hand signal or maybe even like a sign. If you're a beginner, they won't usually do that. But like in the NBA, there's referee running back and forth calling stuff. So if you see a referee do this, that means you traveled, which means you were holding the ball and walking at the same time. And um, if you see the referee go like this, that means that you um, that means that you did a personal foul, then you foul someone. Um, and also, sometimes they'll do like this, which means like you hold, you held the person, which is another foul. Though they have all these really like things that I don't even know yet. They have all these hand signals, and it's actually really, it's really valuable in basketball. But it's really like whoa. So um, next we're gonna so that's basically the basics of what you need to know about basketball. Um, also, I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, now coming up is the NBA Finals, so if you want to watch, you can see that um, a lot of um, the referees will do the hand signals, you see the players doing all these things I taught you. Next, I'm going to talk about why basketball is important to me. I'm really passionate to talk about this today. I was really excited. Um, when I was maybe just a couple months old, I went to preschool and I was dribbling the ball. My teacher told my mom, hey, she's good at basketball. You should probably do that. And so, you know, that's how I got really passionate about basketball. And I always loved it, and I was always thrilled to play it. And when my mom told me I could start playing, I was like, yes, mom. And so, usually I like basketball because it's really um, entertaining. Like, you get to work as a team. You get to synergize and stuff. And use the seven habits even while you're playing. And also, um, when you're playing, you're... Um, you're like you're just having a great time. It's a great atmosphere, and you're just feeling really hyped up. And also, when you're playing, it's really good for your body because you're always staying active, moving, jumping. You know, you jump to guard someone. You bend your feet to guard someone. So you know that's something really important and it's valuable for your health as well. And um, also, you don't just play straight through. I forgot to mention that. You don't just play and play and play. You get to sit out a little bit, drink some Gatorade, maybe some water, and that's good for your health, too. Also, um, when you're playing, um, you have to make sure that, you know, you know and I'm really passionate about it because I really had a great bond with my friends. You know, all my friends at school, plus more, we play at recess, we play outside of school. And, you know, I just got to know my friends better. Um, also, like, you can make new friends. And, you know, it's just really fun. And, you know, it's a great atmosphere. And you feel great. And recently, I just won a tournament, the Nikvo tournament. And with all my friends, it's because we worked as a team. And we found a way to win it. And we didn't just you know, sit there and be miserable all the time. We, even if we were losing, we were playing, we were having fun. And you know, that's some qualities that lead to being a good basketball player. Like, you don't just have to be an amazing player, make all the points, you have to cheer your teammates on and that makes them even better. So it's something really important. Like ba in basketball, you can bond really well with your friends and even friends from the other team, our rivals, pro the prospect nights, we, um, I even made some friends with some of them because, you know, we would we just play and we had a great time because we would just go back and forth. You know, it was great. And so, you know, um, everyone, it's just really fun. And, you know, it feels really good to win, too, because you know that you did something good and you helped your teammates. And, you know, if anyone is feeling down, you just cheer them on. And, you know, next thing you know it, playing, they make a point. And, you know, it just feels good. And so, you know... Next, um, um, I did this project, this Passion Time project, with my with my friend Allison, and she plays basketball with me too. So you know, we had a really fun time doing it and talking about it. And you know, we oh, we even made a website. And you know, it's just so fun. And you know, we just keep talking about it. And these qualities lead to um, 
playing basketball is just amazing. And you know, even playing all the other sports is great too. Like, but you know, it's just really fun. Next, I'm going to talk about something actually kind of funny. I was at a basketball camp a couple years ago, and um, this is something else basketball um, people in, the people invented in basketball um, for protection. Um, you have to wear like your arm pads and knee pads and stuff. And also, sometimes people wear sweatbands where they sweat absorbs. And you know, all, it's just all this gear makes it so much even more fun. So you know, all there's like all these different things. And recently, I just got um, new basketball shoes because, and you know, I love um, searching up the history of basketball online because I like to see how the rules changed over the years. Like, like I said before, there wasn't any traveling. You know, it would just be like a bunch of kids running around. And they're running around at the park, like just throwing a ball into a, a basket. And now it's like this professional sport, like they do in the Summer Olympics. Like it's legit and it's like amazing. And it's just a great atmosphere to be around. And you just have a really great time doing it. And that's why I'm so passionate about basketball because, you know, I've done it since the first grade. And, you know, all my friends, I've made some friends that I think I would have never met from if I didn't do basketball. And even I'm making some other people at our school like it because, you know, at school, I'm like, hey, Bob, want to see this new move I learned? And then I'm just like, woo! And then that person's like, oh, I want to try to do that. So you just, you're not even like, you can, if people don't even play basketball, you can make them like it and you can make them try to do new moves because there's a bunch of kids in my school I can name a couple in my head and they um don't play the basketball but at recess they can see me some of us playing it and then they play as well and you know it's just so great you can play with your friends outside of school um you can play at school you know and you I even wrote stories about it at school so you know it's just a really great feeling and you know I'm Stacy again and so I, I'm really passionate about basketball and I just want all the other kids in the world to play it as well because it's not just fun, it's good for your health, you can bond, synergize, you know, all these things um, add up to the basketball that we know today. So next time you see LeBron James uh, on the TV, you'll remember that he learned all the same qualities we are learning now and who knows, I might even be in the WNBA one day playing for a girls basketball because I'm so passionate about it and also you work really well with your teammates. So thanks for watching. I hope you play basketball one day. Bye.